With PyWeb Monitor, it's very easy to access your production information far away from the production environment. What we do is we open up PyWeb Monitor, and then we select a particular port report that we want to view our information in, whether it's a statistical table, a protocol or generic report, or even gauge r and information. We simply select the report, and then once the report template opens, we select which data we want represented in the report. For example, if we have a part, we can select the entire part or part of it. And once we select a part, it will populate all the characteristics from that particular um, inspection report. And then more specifically, we can select a serial number or other piece of information um, in time to further specify which particular data we want represented in our report. We simply hit update, and this will pull the information from the database representing that particular part. And then we can simply print this off to a PDF for um, sharing or any other records. We can also access, via monitor, statistical reports using simple tables. When we open up our statistical report, just as our generic report, will specify which part or multiple parts we want to view the information from. So in this report, we will select information from two different production parts. And then we can update our results. And then this will pull the last 10 measurements from these two parts representing these four particular characteristics. Now if we see something in a particular run that we want more information about a particular data point, everything inside of PyWeb Monitor is fully interactive. So if we see something of interest, we can click on that particular data point and find more information out as far as when the, the particular measurement was taken, who made the measurement, what particular shift number, or what machining center it came off of, it might require further investigation. Okay. Similarly, with all of our plotting as well, everything will be fully interactive. So anything that is particular of interest, you can find more information about. We can also represent more or less information in our particular measurement run using our measurement selection tab. So what I'll do is type in a new search criteria, for example, the last 25 parts, and we can see that the results are recalculated. We can also further select this data by um, sorting by a particular production number, machining center, or any other sort of variable that is currently being tracked in the production environment.